Hello friends, this video on Neural Control and Coordination Part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. A little higher, that is the nematodes or the round worms. The nematodes are also known as the round worms. So one example of nematodes would be the Ascaris or the area. They are all examples of the nematodes. Now they have a better developed nervous system again when compared to the platyhelminths. So they have a nerve ring which is made up of four ganglia that serves as a brain. So they have a ring like structure. So let us see how it looks like. So this is the structure of a round worm and here you can see a ring like structure and this is formed by ganglia. So the, this net colored red structure that is the esophagus but before that you see this black colored structure and this is the nerve ring. So this is the nerve ring and it is made up of four ganglia. So obviously the brain is more developed here in case, when compared to the platyhelminths and it is present towards the anterior end so one towards one end of the body. So here also cephalization is present. So from the ring arises nerves which run through the length of the body on dorsal, ventral and lateral surface. So from this ring you can see on the dorsal surface that is towards the back. Ventral means toward the bottom. So this would be the dorsal surface. So basically there is one nerve cord which is running here like this. And that is going to be the dorsal nerve cord. That is the one which is running throughout the length towards its back. Similarly, the nerve cord which is running towards its front, that is towards the inner side, that is going to be the ventral nerve cord. And it also has a lateral nerve cord which is running sideways, that is going to be the lateral nerve cord. So these are the three nerve cords running. So the dorsal nerve cord helps in motor control, that is this one towards the back. Motor control means all types of movements are controlled by the dorsal nerve cord. The lat lateral nerve cord is sensory, so it can actually sense the uh, stimulus from the sensory organs and the ventral nerve cord acts as both motor as well as sensory. So these three nerve cords together handle the entire nervous system. There are specialized sensory organs also present and what are those specialized organs? There are sensory bristles covering the body provide sense of touch. So there are small bristle like structures throughout the body and they are sensitive to touch. So they act as tango receptors. They also have two small amphids on head which are chemoreceptor organs. So towards the head region they have small structures like not like eyes but they are small structures. So they are sensitive to chemicals and they all, some of them also have pigmented eye spots which are photoreceptors. But photo, these eye spots are not present in all nematodes. It is present only in some of them. So here also you can feel the cephalization because the amphids, the eye spots, the nerve ring, everything is concentrated towards one end of the body. So cephalization is present here also. The next one is annelids where the best example to talk about would be the earthworm because we have spoken about earthworm so many times till now. So here obviously a better developed nervous system again they have the segmented body. So here we have to see that how the nervous system, how the brain and the nerves and the nerve cords get organized in the segmented body. So each segment has a ganglia that controls the muscles of that segment. So that is wonderful. So you have so many different segments. For each segment you have one specific ganglia. So one specific ganglia will control everything of this particular segment. So now here you have one small small ganglia for one small small segment. So obviously overall throughout the entire animal the nervous system becomes better. So ganglia in each segment will help in the movement of that particular segment and that is why you would have observed the movement of the earthworm it crawls on the ground and how it moves each segment moves independent of another but they move in synchronization with each other because the movement of each segment is controlled by a separate ganglia. So here nerve cord extends through all the segments. So we have so somewhat like this. So if you look at it, so this is maybe the head portion and then this is the body. So throughout the body we have nerve cords running like this throughout the length of the body. And then we have ganglia at each segment. 
So for each segment you have ganglia like this. So these are the ganglia for each segment. And here you have at the, in the head region you have one brain ganglia. So that is like considered as one of the main ganglia. Now these are the segmental ganglia that is the ganglia which are present in each segment and this one is the brain or the ganglia which is present in the head region and this cord which is running throughout the length of the body that is the nerve cord. There are specialized sensory organs also present like there are organs which are sensitive to touch, light and chemicals which are present all along the body surface, so throughout the body surface. So if you touch the earthworm anywhere throughout its body, it will respond showing some movement. So let us now talk about the insects. What kind of nervous system do the insects have? The arthropods. So in insects again we have a variety of them. They also have a ladder-like nervous system. So let us see what kind of ladder-like nervous system do they have. So there they, in insects here, whatever is highlighted in red shows the nervous system. So they have paired ventral nerve cords which are running through all the segments. So where are the paired ventral nerve cords? So here you can see this is one. This is one line which you can see and there is another line. So these two lines forms the paired ventral nerve cord because they run on the ventral surfaces. So they are the ventral nerve cord paired because they exist in pairs. So paired ventral nerve cord and this is the ventral side of the insect's body. So it runs through all the segments of the body as you can see. Paired ganglia is formed in each segment. So for each segment you can again see ganglia are present right from here. So paired ganglia is also present in each segment and these ganglia are known as the segmental ganglia. So they are called the segmental ganglia. Brains are formed by fusion of ganglia of these segments. So where is the brain? So this is where the brain is and it is also formed by fusion of segmental ganglia. There are specialized sense organs present like the pigmented ocelli which act as the photoreceptors. So photoreceptors are again present in the head region. They are like, like how we have eyes. Similarly, they have ocelli which are uh, sensitive to light. They also have bristles on their cuticles which are touch and chemical receptors. So they are cuticles that is the covering of the insect's body. So on their cuticles you have small bristle like structures which are sensitive to touch as well as chemicals. That is why you would have observed that you put if you put some chemical on the body of an insect what will happen? It will start reacting to it. It will start responding to it. That is because they have got the tango receptors on their cuticles. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.